there you guys welcome back to Rosewolf today is oh gosh what is it the 12th of January and is currently 11 a.m. on the dot all right so you guys just saw we have our our information to uh, our information oh my goodness our invitation to go to the island there's a fly on that can I messed up I still hear it is it just fly oh good it came back okay <laughs> I just was not paying attention while I was aiming. That was kind of embarrassing. There we go. <laughs> Did I mention I'm bad at uh, bug catching? Okay, so there's that done. Let's, let's pick this up and never, ever, ever drop anything ever again. Um, how are you guys doing today? It has been uh, about a day, no, two days since I was last uh, here with you guys. I did not play yesterday, so I don't know if anything happened in town in between. Uh, just did not have time in between filming sessions. But anyways, last time- oh, wait a minute. Last time we, uh, we paid off our house loan, so we should have a bigger house? It doesn't look much bigger to me. Maybe that's just me, though? I mean, yeah, definitely bigger. I have so much junk in here that I don't need. Oh, this is how it always starts, and then eventually I'll learn what I want in this house, but anyways, let's move this. I don't even know why I bought this. What is this? <laughs> I'm gonna put it in front of the door. Uh, da -da -da. Are you joking? No, stop it. <laughs> why would- do you not want to go there? You can go there, come on. Okay, let me try from this angle. And I can't move it. You know what? It's good enough. That's gonna bother me so much. I'll do that off camera. Anyways, uh, plans for today? Work on town as per usual. Hopefully earn some bells to put towards this bridge. I forget how much we put towards it last time, but I don't feel like it was nearly enough. Um, let's see, Pashmina is not in. There's a weed there. Ooh, we should probably actually first save up enough for uh, the beautiful town ordinance so we can really start working on our hybrids, but also um, stop having to deal with weeds. Hey there, Willow. Well, hello there, Princess Missy. Just don't expect you to bend the... What on earth is she saying? <laughs> Does she not like me? Oh! Oh! Oh, the hair! She doesn't like the hair! Wait, wait, wait. I love you. Come back. <laughs> eh. Poppy, you love me, right? <laughs> I wanna try for you <gasps> No, 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 no. You're not allowed. No, 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 no. Please stay. <laughs> I didn't think you'd care that much. Well, if you really want me to stay in Rosewood, then I will. He is one who I'm not allowing to move ever. He's too cute. I need him. Do you like me now? There's a rumor going around that you're- okay, this is normal dialogue. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that she would react to the hair. I've seen them react to, like, uh, the cat hood and and I don't like this place. Who are you? Uh, Freckles is a duck, right? I don't... 
you, you're blocking my thing here, man. Woman. I think it's a woman. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, and there's a lost item down there. My goodness, so much to do today, you guys. Um, let's see here. Nothing back here. Yeah, I don't think Freckles is gonna stay very long. <laughs> I do not like that placement at all. That's terrible. I, I really should start plot resetting, but I want to do an episode on it first so you guys can actually, like, see what I mean when I say that. Because I'm not sure that everyone will know, like, right off the bat what I mean when I say plot reset. What a terrible place to put down your house, though. Was this yours? Uh, you lose this? This usually takes me a couple tries before I find the the owner, but that's totally fine. Nope, for some reason in my old town I seem to notice it was usually someone who was sitting inside. Who wasn't like, you know, out wandering around actively, so I don't know if that is true or if it was just what I kept noticing, but Uh, you dropped this? Nope, that isn't his. Okay. Oh well, we'll find the owner while we're uh, doing our dailies. Okay, did we get any hybrids? I don't think I watered, like, pretty much any of those. Okay, so we got... I think that's another orange? Two other oranges, I think. And we got a pink, I believe, and we got a yellow. <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted. Yeah, maybe today our goal should be to earn enough for the public or public works project. For the um, beautiful town ordinance, because uh, having to water them, I'm, I'm not used to it, so you'll see a lot of wilted ones, because I just... I don't water my flowers every day unless I'm trying to breed them, it's so strange. <laughs> I remember when I first started playing this game and I didn't realize how awesome the beautiful town ordinance was. I uh, I wanted to earn a lot of bells so I had it on the bell boom ordinance and uh, I watered each and every one of my flowers every day and if you guys have watched, oh my gosh, I think it's Billy, I think it's uh, episode 50 of uh, visiting Gear Dream Towns, I went back and visited all of my old towns. Uh, I think the first one I visit is my very first town in New Leaf, and if you guys remember that, I have so many flowers in that town that I watered by hand with a single watering can every day. <laughs> and this is before I had the, you know, the, the silver or the gold or anything like that, so... Kinda crazy. Okay, put these all away. I'm kind of- oh, we're like right underneath the amount we need for uh, enacting an ornament, so that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm kind of hoping that uh, we'll have the QR code machine today as well. What did I do? <laughs> um, public Works Initiative? Oh, okay, awesome. Let it snow, man. Um, donate at least one to your local museum, we can do that, since we have the- uh, the fly. Okay, let me get this to stop vaping because it's actually really irritating. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. But, uh, but yeah, it would be nice if we had the QR code machine because I actually spent the last hour, <laughs> and I'm not even exaggerating with that, the last hour of my life looking up QR code paths online. <laughs> specifically for this town, so I hope you guys like the one that I've chosen to uh, at least be our starter one. Um, I'm open to suggestions after that, but uh, for now we'll start off with just one that I can place down and have a set idea of where I want everything to be. Uh, good morning, Crystal. Uh, you lose this first off, let's just ask everybody if they lost this before we even talk to them. <laughs> Alright, not hers. All right, and then let's say hello to you properly, because you're adorable, and a lot of people actually help me understand Toasty. I think it's some sort of, like, 
snack or something from Australia, and that's why I. <laughs> it makes somewhat more sense now, though. Piece of furniture dropped from its branches. Right, that's something that happens. <laughs> Until then, I didn't realize trees could bear furniture instead of fruit. Anyway, it was a lovely surprise. You should try shaking more trees, Crystal. They're hiding all kinds of things in their branches. Yeah, that would be nice until, um, you drop a couch on your head. I don't really feel like doing that. How are you doing today, Flora? Alright, not hers either. I have terrible luck with finding the owner. I am very, very bad at it. Uh, talk to me. What do you think of my whole look today? Ah, uh, it's really cute, actually. I like that. That kind of mix of colors on you. Cute, really? Yay, that's totally what I was going for. Alright, awesome. Glad to make her happy. <laughs> Okay, back on our hunt for fossils, and I guess the, uh, fake rock? I need to start trying to remember which rocks are real and which ones aren't. But as I was saying, though, once I get the path down, I'll be able to sort of figure out what I want to do with this town, where I want people's houses to be, where I want, um... Uh, public works projects, and trees and flower beds, and that kind of stuff, and also, I'll also definitely be able to tell more uh, easily which rock is fake, which one is real, just because I'll, I'll literally be spending about two to three hours wandering, okay, one of these is definitely fake, <laughs> wandering around, um, placing down paths, which I've had a few people ask if I could actually make an episode out of that. I probably will. It probably will not be like, uh, maybe it'll be a numbered episode, but it won't be normal. I won't be doing the other chores. I'll probably do it beforehand. And then we'll just start uh, working on laying down paths. I'll just, you know, chat with you guys and explain the process I'm going through. Uh, if you guys are interested, for sure. If you guys aren't, you won't miss really anything other than, you know, figuring out what paths I'm using. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Marshall, why are you hiding behind your TV, buddy? Ah, uh, did you lose this? You're in your house. Ah, oh, see? What did I tell you guys? Like, I swear, it's usually somebody who's in their house. A ninja shirt? I don't even want to- Actually, you know what? Let's try it all. Let's see what it looks like. After we talk to him, though, because he's the cutest and I never ever want him to leave. <laughs> Forgive me, by the way, you guys, if I'm not reading as much today. My voice is just a little bit sore. Did a lot of recording yesterday. And uh, I'm trying to heal it back up for tomorrow when I, you know, start my weekend streams again. Uh, da da da, this shirt? Oh, no, 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 no. Much better. <laughs> I feel kind of bad about the, uh, the princess hair, though, because it's the only hair that really moderately looks like mine. And, uh, apparently, uh, Willow didn't like it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to wear it. I'm, I'm not sure, really. Also, we have to remember to, uh, talk to Tortimer sometime today. I'll probably save that for last. Wants to tell us about the island, which is very, very exciting. There's a lot we can do on the island, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know why I'm looking around. I got all four fossils, and I got the, uh money rock and I got the fake rock, so I'm all good. Okay, let's let's donate these first off. Um, assess a fossil, please. And assess these four, thankfully. I'm so thankful that I'm finding them all again. Okay, so not all of them again, which means we'll have something to sell, which means we'll definitely be able to enact the uh, beautiful town. I keep wanting to call it Perfect Town, because to me they're like one and the same. I can't 
you usually get one without the other. If that makes any sense at all. <laughs> okay, so two of them he needed. Uh, no thank you. Alrighty, I'm still waiting for the day that we walk in and he's uh, in his thinking animation. If you guys aren't aware, there will be days where you'll walk into like Town Hall or the museum and either Isabella or Blathers will be kind of doing something a little bit different, in which case that's kind of your cue to go talk to them. And uh, it unlocks a uh, public works project pretty much, I think, all three times that it happens. Let me order this a bit. I want to sell nearly all of this. <laughs> oh! The fly. We didn't donate the fly. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. Some people were saying that they managed to get um, both ants and flies from like candy. I've, I've never seen flies around candy. I've seen, I think, ants and flies around um, rotten fruit. But I didn't really have access to that too easily, it would take time, so I went with the uh, candy and can route or garbage route instead. I know you don't like bugs, just take it man, it's fine. <laughs> Forgive me though, you guys, for skipping through the au or the audio. Oh my goodness, the uh, the text quite quickly. I'm really kind of in a hurry to uh, talk to Tortimer, get all that stuff done, talk to Isabel, getting the beautiful town, do our daily shopping. I feel like today's gonna be a busy day, but I do not want to carry out these episodes for terribly long because I don't want you guys to get bored. Uh, we should probably talk to Tom Nook about our new bill, shouldn't we? <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's Crystal, so good to see you, hmm? Your renovations are complete, yes? Maybe a small change, but I trust you're pleased. So, it's time for business numbers. The trifling cost of your addition comes to 98,000 bells. Pocket change, really. No, no, I can ex or I can't accept your money here. Please make your payments at the post office ABD, hmm? Much thanks in advance. Yep. We will probably, especially once we have the island, get that paid off very, very quickly. Um, for those of you who know exactly what I mean when I'm referring to, like, earning a lot on the island, we're probably not gonna do that terribly much. Like, you know, we may do it now and then, but I don't wanna, um, speed through it too quickly, if you know what I mean, in terms of paying off our house. Um, I don't really see anything I want. <laughs> Okay, um, let's check if he has an axe. I can't remember if his, his first level of shop sells axes. I don't see one. Okay. Sorry for bothering you, man. <laughs> Just kind of walked in and walked straight out. That's kind of awkward. Okay, um, shopping in terms of clothes. No QR code machine yet. The Wolfgang is in here, awkwardly standing in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, want to chat? Maybe sort of stuffy all the time, but I still make sure to look sort of fashionable. Uh oh. <laughs> hey there, hun. Oh, Crystal, welcome. I feel terrible that you take time of your day to come see me, yet I never have a single moment to chat. The profit margin on our clothing is so low, no matter how hard I work, it feels like I get nowhere. Hold up a sec, sis. Haven't we had this conversation before? Make something high quality and make it fast and on the cheap. Sound some or sound familiar? Who says those exact words like they're quickly going out of style? But Mabel... You take pride in your work like I do, right? I mean, our hearts go into making our clothes, don't they? So don't you want to be able to offer them for a low price that customers will prefer? <laughs> the customers might be fine with it, but you aren't, sis. You aren't a machine. 
Look, let's just forget about it. I've always loved that worker bee mentality of yours anyway. What? Come again, Mabel? Did you say something? I was lost in thought there thinking about my work, so I didn't hear you. I didn't say a word, sis. You just keep on working. Okay, I'm kind of hoping that machine comment means that we'll get this soon. <laughs> I really want it. Uh, I don't see anything I like there. I'm kind of waiting for like a winter hat, now that I think about it, because like, I liked the princess hair and I liked all the other hair like styles uh, that viewer gave me, but like, I feel bad if the, if the animals are going to comment on it. I don't want them to hate me. <laughs> or at least Willow seemed to really react negatively to it. Okay, so plan now is to go sell all the stuff we have in our inventory, minus the princess wig. I'm gonna keep it. Um, and then I guess we'll go uh, get that beautiful town ordinance placed in, and then we can probably head down to the beach. There's something else I want to do down there anyway, so... Oh, Pashmina, hey, how are you doing? I made myself get up early so you wouldn't outshine me. So sleepy. Uh, want to chat? Hey, so this is kind of out of the blue, but what would you use... Wait, but what would you use to replace a tall lullabyd? I'm thinking of switching my tall lullabyd to something about the same size. If you know something that would work, tell me about it, okay? As long as it's the same size... Okay, so I'm guessing that's one space. Uh, do we have anything? No. I'll try and find something for her. The problem is, I don't know what her house looks like. I don't think we've really been in there yet too much. I could get her a plant. Okay, selling all this plus the can. She's gonna ask us to pay for that can, though. Sounds good. Alright, you know what? Uh, this plant is nice looking. Oh. It's... <laughs> how funny would that be? How about, how about the harp? That's really awkward that that was hers. <laughs> okay, sure, yes. I will take it. Oh, Marshall's in here. So cute. Look at his little tail. <laughs> You. I have something for you. Uh, how about this? A harp? Nice, this is perfect. I'll try it out as soon as I get home. Alright, here, let me give you a thank you gift. Take this. Ooh, what is it? I hope you like your new cabin table. Eh? I mean, I like the cabin furniture, I just don't know if I want it in my current house. Anyways. Okay, perfect town, right. <laughs> Not perfect town, beautiful town. I always forget. I'm Just forgive me if I call it, like, getting the perfect town ordinance, because, like, literally, to me, they're one and the same. Okay. To enact an ordinance, a processing fee of 20,000 bells is required. Once enacted, ordinances can be cancelled for free. Shall we continue? Okay. Now then, what kind of town would you like Rosef to become? Ah, uh, a beautiful town. Great idea, Mayor. I can see it now. A town where flowers live forever and weeds hardly ever grow. Oh, and no garbage or cockroaches. That's your grand vision for Rosewolf, right? Exactly. Okay, so you want to sign the Keep Rose's Beautiful Ordinance into law? Let's do it! That's official. The ordinance will come into effect tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll let the townsfolk know. 
Uh, no, I think I'm good. You drained all my all of my wallet, Isabel. <laughs> okay, so there's that done. That's awesome. That should definitely, definitely help with our uh, hybrids and flowers and stuff like that. Okay, so... Actually, I want to pick up the roses from here. My idea is that I want to start putting uh, my roses on the beach. And for those of you wondering, I am still going to aim to get the blue and gold roses, but they're not going to be really a main part of the town, just because this is Rose Wolf, not Rose Wood. <laughs> uh, how much more space? Three? Just not enough. <laughs> that kind of blows. Okay, let's take what we have down. And, uh... Da, da, da. Let's start over from this side, I think. Oh. Wait, have I caught that? I think I caught that already at the beginning. Okay, so we're gonna work from this end of the beach uh, onwards. I think what I'd love to do, and this may take a very long time to do, but what I would love to do down here, just to keep, you know, roses still somewhat special, is to eventually make the entire beach into like a rainbow, so spanning from like red until like, I guess black? I'm not sure. Um, whichever order we want to do it in. And then, oh gosh, you guys are not placing down properly. Anyway, um, I think it would look really, really pretty, but it would take a lot of organization effort, so that'll probably be far, far into the future when we do finally do that. Anyways, this beach is really long. Let's just chat with Tortimer, shall we? Hey, buddy. Oh, Crystal. You came just like I hoped you would. Say now, what did I want to see you about? Hmm. Oh, that's right, that's right. I was going to tell you about the tropical island. The tropical island is where I live. Where I live is a resort where summer is endless and people visit from all over the world. That's why it doesn't matter if it's winter or hot, because you can get by with a single tropical shirt. On the island, there are lots of rare things you just can't see any, in any other place. You can relax on the beach or party hard by going on a tour. It's truly paradise. The boat that takes passengers to the island arrives at this dock. I already told the person in charge to start making stops in this town starting tomorrow. Well then, work real hard as mayor. Let's meet up soon on the island. Alright, so there's that unlocked. That's going to be very exciting. I think that will probably be in our next next episode. By the way, you guys, I've somewhat started um, on uh, more of a schedule for us, meaning uh, these episodes are now going to be released, I believe it's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And then obviously uh, Saturdays, I'm also streaming New Leaf, so you guys can come watch me play in my other town there if you would like to. But, uh, but yeah, I think that should be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are are okay with that. That's why I've kind of been doing this almost pretty much every other day. I, I forgot that I don't have the gold watering can, so I watered from the position I usually water in. <laughs> that was awkward. Okay. I'm really excited to uh, start getting... No, you're not where I want you to be. Really excited to start getting a uh, proper, proper hybrids and flowers going, and the path too. I'm very, very excited to put down a path. It's taking everything in my power to not like, I don't know, just uh, place down like a temporary path, so that I can like see where I want everything. Cause like it's like the most exciting part for me, just planning everything pretty much. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's get you guys sorted out a little bit. I don't know if that one's orange or what, but... But, uh, yeah, you guys, thank you very much for watching, by the way. It means a lot to, uh, hear from you guys and, you know, you guys learning something from this or even just enjoying watching this while you're playing your game. It really, really means a lot to me that you guys are enjoying and keeping up with the series, but... I think I'm probably going to have to end it here, you guys. We're 
pretty much right on time. I hope this is a decent uh, length of episode for you guys. But anyways, thank you very much for watching as always. We got a lot of work done today. I will see you guys on, uh, on Saturday. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching.